Hey everyone, this will be a dual review kind of comparison between two tabletop, countertop, coffee table kind of additions that you might be considering. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, the first edition I want to show you guys is the Art of Life Holy Bible. This is from Tyndale in the NLT. And the other is the Eyewitness Visual Bible Experience. And this is published by Group Life Tree. Now, there'll be links to both of these in the description below. So let's jump into it. Oh no, have I not been recording? Oh no, I haven't been recording. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate this. I hate everything about this. <sighs> oh gosh. Okay, so it's the next day and I realized that I had not been recording on uh, my overhead cam the entire time for the previous video. So we're gonna do this again. So uh, let's take a look at these two tabletop coffee table type Bible options for you. So we'll start with the Art of Life Bible from Tyndale. It is that cloth over board, full hardcover uh, that you would kind of expect from a coffee table type edition. Uh, but the color scheme is really nice. It does have the white page edges, for little fingers, if they touch them, it's gonna scratch up the gild. So no need in having gilt on a like coffee table edition that could be handled by several different people. And the artwork on the cover, the stamping looks really crisp. This edition is really wide, like it's wide. And I think that could be problematic as a coffee table edition because uh, it, it tends to and I had this happen to me, it, it tends, the paper tends to roll up on you. See how that did? It really has a, a chance of like flopping around big time and causing some creases and some issues with possible torn pages since the paper is so thin. But this is a full Bible edition. Now, whether that's a pro or a con, that's completely up to you and your taste. For me personally, I was kind of show you that, that I like this for what it is, but I'm kind of leaning more toward the eyewitness. So this is a good large print, which it needs to be a large print if you're gonna do a full Bible, and it's really readable. The, the readability is great. Even though the paper is really thin and it's not line matched, you do have some ghosting. You do have some of the colorful highlights with the dual color printing. You have the, the book and chapter number at the top, the page number at the bottom. The section headings are in that teal green color, which is really nice. And if the text looks familiar, it's a 2K Denmark design. Now the real key to this edition are the sketches, the uh, 450 uh, little pencil line, pen line sketches. They're not in color, but they're very nicely done, very detailed. Now each one of these, like in this one, it has Jezebel on this page, and then it has the description in the margin of either the same page or the opposing page. Not sure why they didn't go with a double side satin ribbon, uh, but it is a single side satin ribbon and mine has a little bit of a junked up end. I think I saw Tim's review and his uh, ribbon was also kind of messed up. So not sure if they need to check on their quality control there. All right, so here is, uh, here's one of the panorama shots. This is the river of life. Kind of prefer the portraits. I think they're more detailed, uh, but that's probably just me. At the end of the text, you have these indices. Uh, you have Art of Life People Index, which shows all the people that have portraits in here. Uh, and then the next one would be a plant index. All right, then you have the animal index and then the Art of Life Panorama Index. Here are your contributors. You have the 2K Denmark team and the Tyndall team that work together on this. The illustrator for this edition is Dina Denoza, and I think she did a great job. She spent four years creating all of these drawings for this edition. And then after that, you have some pages of lined paper 
but they're really unwieldy and they're really thin. So I, I really would feel like they're almost unusable because they're so thin, you can't really write anything on them unless you write with a pen that's just specifically for super thin paper. So that's the Art of Life Holy Bible, it's pretty nice. The other is Eyewitness, a visual Bible experience. It's produced by Group Life Tree, and uh, they sent it to me to review, and I really hadn't had an opportunity to review it until I got the Art of Life uh, tabletop Bible. But this is not specifically a Bible. It's more of a conversation piece with art, it's, it's really cool. And I actually kind of lean more toward this being what I would prefer on my coffee table. I love the cover art. The cover art is Noah and all the animals, and I'll show you that in here, uh, but let's open it up. Opening this edition up, it's also super wide, but it's so colorful, it's really inviting uh, to open and turn the page. You wanna see what the next page looks like. Uh, the art just looks amazing. Here's the publication page. It's a 2020 printing from China. Uh, you have all of the uh, credits here and it's from group publishing illustrations from Life Tree. You have an acknowledgements and dedication and you have a table of contents and then we get into it. Now, uh, the introduction is really cool, but I'm gonna zip right through here. Now, one thing I wanna specify is that these editions are not the Bible. So this is what's kind of cool though, is that each of these are written from the perspective of a Bible character. So this first one is entitled A First for Everything, and it's written from the perspective of Adam, and it covers Genesis one through two. It's not an overly abundant amount of reading, so if you have a, a guest and they're, you wanna show them this edition, they're not having to read pages and pages of the Bible to kind of get the point of the story that this illustration's depicting. Let's zip through here. The next one is from the perspective of Eve covering Genesis three. It's fairly lengthy. Oh, and then one of my favorites is uh, the tears and rain. It's from the perspective of Noah covering Genesis six through nine. And that's where you get the cover art from. That is spectacular. This art is amazing. Then you have this, I mean, terrifying look at the opposing side of God's judgment, which is all the people drowning from the flood. It is just terrifying to know the reality of sin. Like this is what this communicates. And you can see all of these stories, uh, like this one's written from the perspective of Sarah, but the artwork is different in each one of these. Uh, this is from the perspective of Abraham. The artwork looks different, very unique, and uh, the stylized to the artist. Nothing against the Art of Life Holy Bible from Tyndall. Uh, that's also great and the artwork's amazing, but this is more of what I would feel like I would want on my coffee table. All of these are really amazing. You can see the artwork is truly fantastic. Look at Daniel, wow, that's amazing. So one of my favorite of all of these is uh, on page 132. It's called Right Here, Right Now. It's written from the perspective of Satan when Satan's tempting Jesus. And it kind of relates to one of my favorite books, which is a C.S. Lewis book called The Screwtape Letters, where it comes from the perspective of a demon and his apprentice. So uh, it's just a really unique kind of take on uh, that perspective of the scriptures, which I really love. Now, another great is this uh, Jesus teaches on the mountainside, which is the Sermon on the Mount. It covers Matthew five through seven, and it's from the perspective of Jesus. This is all so great. I think it's just so unique to tell from differing perspectives from different Bible characters. So, so unique and fresh. Really it is. So as we get toward the end of this edition, it goes into kind of a uh, about the creators, which is great to see. You can see all the artists and a little depiction of their art kind of gives you an example of their work. Here that's continued. So it's really awesome. 
So I love this where we have men and women of different ages who contributed to the art of this edition. And that is it. So this is such an amazing tabletop edition. And, and really the Art of Life Holy Bible is also an amazing edition. But for me, this is kind of my favorite. So if you're looking for something for your coffee table or an accent, I'll have links to both of these in the description below. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.